In this tutorial, we will learn how to edit a path or a curve like a Bezier curve. A curve has multiple applications in Blender. For example, we need a curve to define the path followed by the camera in a scene. We can develop any complex path from a simple curve like this through curve editing. So, let us go to the edit mode now. You can see, this curve has two endpoints or better known as control points. And there is a handle at each of these control points. These handles control the shape or the curvature of our curve. You can move the control points by using the move tool like any other object. Instead of moving the entire object, it moves only the control points that we have selected. Likewise, you can also move the end points of these handles. They do not move the curve or its position. They will change the curvature or the shape of the curve. It is very easy to change a curve into whatever form you want. You can also use many other tools in editing. For example, if you want to resize this curve, you can select the curve or the segment, then press S on your keyboard, and move your mouse to change the size of the curve. Finally left-click once to accept the change. You can also extend or extrude this curve. For that, select any one end point. Then go to control points and select extrude. Move your mouse and left-click, another segment will be added. The shortcut is E on your keyboard for extrude, so press E and left-click repeatedly to create multiple such segments. They all will be joined to one another to form one single curve. You can also draw a new segment or a new curve by freeform drawing using this drawing tool. Just click your mouse and drag it to draw the curve segment. Blender will automatically add necessary control points to the curve that you have drawn. Now, you can also join these two curves together to form one single curve or one object. For that, select the two end points, then go to control points and select make segment. One new segment is now added to join these two parts. Let us also join the other two ends to form one closed curve. An object can move indefinitely through this curve. Now, select all by pressing A on your keyboard. To make this curve smooth, go to control points and select the smooth option. You can also create additional control points. Let us take this section for example. If you want to create another control point within this section, first select the two end points, then go to segments and select subdivide. One new control point is now added into this section. If you want to delete a section of the curve, press the shift key and select all the control points that make the segments. Then go to curve and select delete, and then select segments. The selected part of the curve is now removed. However, instead of delete, if you want to divide the curve into two parts, for example, if you want to cut out this part of the curve as a separate curve, first select the control points for the section you want to cut out. You can use the shift key for multi-select. Then go to curve, then select separate, and confirm. The highlighted part is cut out. The result may not be visible here. Let us go back to the object mode. You can see, we have the original part of the curve as the Bezier curve. And we have the other part that we have cut out, as a new curve or curve 1. You can move or modify this new curve independent of the first curve. It is effectively a new object. In the next video, we have discussed how to convert such a curve into a solid object or a mesh. The link is in the video description. Let us now add another type of curve, that is a path. Blender added one straight line as we added the path. Let us go to the edit mode. By default, there are five control points on this straight path. There is no handle for them, but just like a Bezier curve, you can move the control points. It will change the shape of the path. You can also extrude or extend the path by pressing E on your keyboard, move your mouse and left click as many times as you want. Also you can join the two endpoints by a new segment as we did the last time. As a result, we get a closed curve or closed path. If an object has a follow path constraint, it will move along this curve. To see the direction of such movement, open this and enable this normals option here. It will display the direction of our curve. Any object following this curve will move in this direction. To switch this direction, select all the control points by pressing A on your keyboard, then go to segments and select switch direction. The arrows now change to the opposite direction. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.